Kia ora boys and girls. I want to talk to you this day, read to you this story called When Pegaso Met Mutis. It's actually based on two people called Picasso and Matisse. And they are both very famous painters who became friends. And uh, Matisse once told Picasso, We must talk to each other as much as we can. When one of us dies, there will be some things the other will never be able to talk to of with anyone else. It's interesting. A depth of friendship. Anyway, let's read the story about Pig, pig Gasso, Moo as in Cow. There once was a pig called Pegasso. While the other piglets rolled in the mud and played games, Pegasso painted. He painted anything and everything in a most unusual way. Look at the faces. At the same time, there was a young bull called Mutis. Mutis was not like the other bulls. He wasn't interested in bullfighting. Mutis was happy only when he painted pictures. And he painted big, bold, bright pictures. In time, word of Pegaso's talent spread throughout the pig provinces. Soon, art-loving pigs from all over lined up to buy his creations. At the same time, Mutis was getting famous in the cattle community. There weren't many households who didn't own a Mutis. Pegaso and Mutis were becoming art superstars. But this came with a price. Everyone wanted to see them. Art buyers, art sellers, art students, art historians, art groupies. It was an art attack! Oh. One day, Pegaso got fed up with this and said, I'm tired of this noisy pig pen. At the same time, Mutis declared, I'm sick of this crowded cow town. Needing a change, they both decided to look for a peaceful place where they could paint without distractions. It was actually Paris. So each of the two artists looked far and wide for the perfect spot. Pegaso found a lovely farm looking east, looking towards the east. There is. Mutis found a handsome farm facing west. After Pegaso moved in, he went to introduce himself to his new neighbour across the road. At the same time, Mutis went to introduce himself to his new neighbour across the road. And this is how Pegaso met Mutis. And coincidentally, this is how Mutis met Pegaso. At first... Mutis and Pegaso were friendly and welcomed each other, as neighbours do. But soon things began to change. It started one day when Pegaso criticised one of Mutis's paintings. Then Mutis made fun of one of Pegaso's. Mutis called Pegaso an art hog. And then Pegaso called Mutis a mad cow. Mutis quipped, you paint like a two-year-old. Pegaso retorted, you paint like a wild beast. Mutis raged, your colours are like mud. Pegaso spat, your paintings are like colour by numbers. Then things got really out of hand. <sighs> that looks like somebody else's painting, doesn't it? It was a modern art mess. Pegaso stormed off into his house. That motif doesn't like my art, he huffed. Then I'll show him. And Mutis bullied his way into his house. I'll give that Pegaso something he can really criticise, he snorted. Then a full-scale feud erupted. But it was a most unusual battle. Armed with ladders and buckets of paint, Mutis launched his first attack. He started at dawn, and by the end of the evening, he had succeeded in transforming the outside of his house into a monster-sized moosterpiece. 
And there's his masterpiece. Not to be outdone, of course. Pegaso fired up his paintbrushes and in full view of the enemy, counterattacked. He turned his farm into a huge and outrageous pork of art. The two artists there, the pork of art. Then the two artists then retreated into their houses and pulled down the shades. Picasso certainly, certainly didn't want to look out his window and stare at a Moutisse. And Moutisse had no desire to give his rooms a view of the Picasso. This presented a problem. There seemed to be only one solution. Without a word to each other, Picasso and Moutisse began to build a huge wooden fence down the middle of the road. At first, Picasso and Mucci seemed satisfied. Both artists went back to painting by themselves. But after a while, Picasso was surprised to find that he missed that bull-headed Mutis. At the same time, Mutis found his studio empty without the presence of that pig-headed Picasso. Picasso pondered, hmm, that Mutis isn't such a bad artist. He has some interesting ideas. And Moutise moaned, that Picasso may not paint like me, but he knows what he's doing. However, being naturally pig-headed and bull-headed, neither artist knew how to apologise to the other. So they did what they do best, they let their paintbrushes do the talking. Picasso painted on one side of the fence and Moutise painted on the other. Each worked until they were exhausted. It was strangely quiet when they were done. Then, curious to see what Mutis had been doing, Pegaso spinned around the other side. At the same time, Mutis galloped round to Pegaso's side. The silence was broken as the two artists began laughing at their amazing work of heart. From that day on, Picasso and Matisse became great friends. They happily took down the fence and shared their different views. A few months later, a big museum bought that fence. Picasso caught his side when Picasso met Matisse. Matisse caught his side when Matisse met Picasso. The critics call it incredible. And that's the end of the story. Two talented artists. Sometimes we can let silly things and maybe not so silly things get in the way of friendship. And friendship is one of those things that is precious like a jewel. We have to take care of it. Look after it. And we have to look after each other as well. You have a great week, and I'll talk to you next week. Take care.